And we're gonna talk to the devil upstairs, I think. But let's explore a little bit more, just in case. Because that is the other thing that we need Astarion for. Hmm. How am I gonna open that without being spotted? I'm not in open light, so I should... No, I am. This is full light. Why? Well, it is. I passed. Okay. Okay, ungroup. Sharessa's caress basement. There's a rat. There's nobody here, so I'll just talk to the rat. Halt! Oppressor! I am reclaiming the victuals in this basement for the good of rat kind! I'm not an oppressor. Are you not? Well, you aren't one of us. You lot hoard your delectable riches while my brothers and sisters starve. Oh. Well. I don't want your, you or your family to starve. Take what you need. We will. And we don't need your permission. That's fair enough. <laughs> That's a very straightforward definition of oppressor. Can I take... Thank you. Nobody's saying anything. Okay. Got an orange. I should have a, a torch because it is very dark in here. Half-eaten apple, sweet potato... Why was this so locked down, I wonder? I mean, it does have food. Ooh, there's a new tooltip here. Two turns of inebriation. I've never noticed that. Hmm. Okay, let's go upstairs. Without a torch. Okay. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Yeah, I touched the door. That was my mistake, trying to close it. Hey! Not that type of service down here, love. I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. That's fair enough. I was not looking for that kind of sausage, if you get my meaning. Thank you. Oh, thank the gods. I've had too many miscreants think my kitchen's just another themed playroom. Hmm. Got any food going sp uh, spare? I suppose. If you're willing to pay for it. A pig's head and a salami. Doesn't have chorizo, though. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Also, no money. Now get out from under my feet, would you? <laughs> oh, he's just... No, it's, it's not the same thing that he has on the table. All right. See you later. Go bother someone else, I think he said. I don't know... Who said grumple, but it might have been him. So up here, what do we have? We have a citizen. We have more citizen. And we have Valeria. We are also, I think, about as deep into the murder quest as we can. So let's talk to Valeria here. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. You are very perceptive. I have, um... I have found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Ooh, who's Devella? My assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmain's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? Well, a lot of things, actually. Um, I found the murder weapon that you missed in a tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? Oh, uh, yeah, well, he, um... 
Well, I assume for the same reason as all the other people on the target list, which I also found the list, uh, to gain Bal Ball's favor. Really? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? I... It's not a theory in the sense of... I mean, it... it well, it's not... It's not either way. Um, I have proof. This document contains information... Uh, connecting the murders to the Ballists' resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Thank you. Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! I was just watching the elephant with wings for ears. Drink a goblet of wine in front of me. I have received a lower city pass. The holder of this pass is to be provided with access to lower city. Well, thank you. Put it in, in the teddy bear. That was surprisingly straightforward. I don't think we had to do all of the things that we did to, to get the lower city pass, but I'm pretty sure that the lower city pass is the next step in this quest. Portrait of a woman. Her cheeks are filled with a blush that seems altogether unrealistic until you meet someone who is, in fact, permanently embarrassed. It's called... I actually don't know what it's called. What, what, do, they, what do people do to make rosy cheeks? You know, without, without uh, modern day, uh, 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 you know, makeup. It's not... I don't know. It's not lead powder, because that would be for pale complexion. So, I think we have found the... Oh, she's she's with a client, isn't she? The Dryad. Or, I suppose they didn't say it was a Dryad, but it kind of looks like it's a Dryad. I should be able to get in, right? Let's do it. It's the Dryad room. Excuse me. Ooh. Lovely and nice. Oh, I'm not sure I'm up to much. All right, that's going well. Charest caress room keys. Yeah, I'll take those. Don't want to draw any attention. There's a bath. Oh, look at the bath! Look how pretty. There's a long sword, a leather armor, archducal coronation no. admission pass. You don't have to think about a thing. I want to, but I just have such a headache. I wish I could kiss you better. I mean, to try. I don't think the voice actress read that properly. It's not, I mean, to try. Is I mean to try to kiss you better. We got an admission pass. We're going to look at that. Don't go into the bath. Get back here. Let's say hi. Beautiful. More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. See, she speaks a lot better. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Ha 
Hi. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait. I know you. You aren't safe. Get out of there. Now. I don't understand. What's... Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this woman? Gather. Prepare. Become. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? Okay, it's an illithid. For a moment there, I thought it wasn't an illithid, but this is more underst understandable. Also, the bulge on that illithid, did you notice? Hells, the streets are shaking. Okay, that's probably bad time. Everybody's upset down there, though. Well, some of them are more upset than others. This is curious that they're they're not in combat, but they are still animated. Some of them. It's not. It doesn't happen to everybody. Oh, they did. They despawned. That's cool. That's cool. We shouldn't pay too close attention. Uh, yeah, the Silithid probably brain starved. No. No. Fist Jara. Oh, she was a fist. I didn't realize. Okay. Well. Um, Shall we cut and run? Yes. You're gonna murder. Can you? Not enough movement. Yeah. This is one short press, right? Well, you have, uh, you have dash. Why are you so slow? Oh, because you're on top of the bathtub. That's, that's right. Okay, uh, yeah. Let's do a dash. Get over there. Better position. Oh, uh. Why do you not have an action? You do have an action. It's just the, uh. I also, I messed up. But it doesn't matter. Let's go. That's fine. That's fine. We. Uh, this is. This is gonna. What's this? This is not a challenging fight. We know this is not a challenging fight. That does it. I didn't even need him, honestly. So she's a nymph. No, she's a wood elf. Yeah, nymphs have all the, the skin like weird and and things. We've seen a nymph already, even though, well, she wasn't a nymph. She was masquerading as one. Let me take your stuff. Uh, excuse me, as I... Yeah. Shabby wardrobe? How dare you. It's not shabby. Look at how nice it is. Okay, it's a little bit shabby. I can't wait to sleep. You're in the right place? May as well take to bed. Ah. No. Don't do that. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, oh, right. I forgot how, how her name is said. Nesh? Nesh? Maybe? It's an oil lamp. And some incense. Yeah, let's talk to her. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. What? That thing could have killed you, and your music on its beauty. How could I help it? I don't regret its death, but I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens, and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened, and her fire stoked. The Mind Flayer is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. You're horny for the Mind Flayer, aren't you? Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Wait, I thought... Aren't you a worker here? I thought... Is it... Whose palate are we satisfying here? I, I wait. Oh no! Wait a minute. It, it's just 
she's pretending that it's what what did you have in mind rapture close your eyes and listen i'm gonna close my eyes and listen you see only darkness her voice shines through it warmer than the sun yet cooler than night the all being here there is no suffering here you want for nothing here you are anything you have one word tell me what will you be powerful you are more than powerful an emperor to emperors your head adorned with a crown of gold, diamond, and ruby. The heavens tremble with the steps of your army. All beasts, all men and women, all creatures of the plains bow to your might. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. Will I? Did you give me a boost? Rapture. Affected entity has a 1d6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, saving throws, until the next long rest. That is... Can I? Can we do that again? If you seek Rapture, find it elsewhere. I can show you but once. We could, could probably do it with other people. Wanna dance? Yeah, Carlock. I'm afraid I'm not taking new clients. Oh, sorry, Carlock. No time to rest. I uh Well you're, you're you're I'm gonna leave you with the Actually Come on, let's go. Thinking better of it. I'm not gonna leave you with the body of a mind flayer here. Bye! Well in it. <laughs> Just, you know, just avoid avoid temptations and all that. It's better not to, right? It's better not to. What do we have in here? Moan loudly in the library at all times. Mm hmm This is new thing, I think. This didn't used to work like this. Either way, we're good. Um, this is likely currently closed because the, the worker here is dead. So we're gonna inspect. Rules of the reading room. Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. Any wizards caught examining the quote special collection unquote without express permission will be commanded to read aloud to the whole library the passage they were enjoying. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. Wait, oh the moaning, right, right. That's what the moaning is for. Oh, we're get, we have porn in here. Yoshimo is willing. The hunter's piercing gaze. I don't think I read the porn when I found it the first time around. I mean, I skimmed it. And I remember I said there was a play. And uh, and I was like, I hope we, we find the play. I think we have found the play. Let me just make sure these are not throwables. They are throwables. I knew it. There you go. Yeah, we'll, we'll read the porn in a little bit. There's a music box here. There's a wardrobe. Oh! That's... Okay, I'll take those. We'll look at those in a little bit. <laughs> Conical flask. Wait, what is that for? No, what the... I mean, right? It's... The measurements carved into the side of this bottle are filled with a sticky substance. I'll send to camp, because I'll sell it, but I don't know what that is. Glass distillation set. Is it like a... Oh, yeah, I think it's like... Because this is a library, it's for... You know, it's it's for science-y things. Overlapping lines. All of this is porn. One night it all... In Nashkel. That one, I think, is the one I read. I think that's the play. Oh, yeah, also Fion's, Fion's journal. Let's take that. And a dog collar. Unfortunately, we do not have a dog, but it is the same as uh, as we found before. All right, so 
uh, yeah, let's, uh... The Archducal Coronation Pass. Yeah, we didn't read this. This pass grants access for Bearer and Entourage to Worms Rock Audience Hall for the ceremony of Lord Cortash's elevation to Archduke of Baldur's Gate. We'll all dress very nicely for that. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Now, important time. The butler's crane has a knob on the end, it says on this book. This comedy of errors centers around the butler, Vincent Raspington, who, though he's as a silly dragonborn with stiff manners and a generally baffled attitude to the goings-on of fine, fair ladies and their gentlemen, ends up going arse over tea kettle into extremely erotic situations with the local nobility. Needless to say, he's unprepared for it. There's a particularly good sequence in which Vincent, a seven-foot-tall dragonborn, must pretend to be a shy little gnome named Missy Wimplesnatch during a uh, banquet. Guffaw, Fnar, hee hee, oh hum, etc. Fnar? That is what the. I, that's delightful. Fnar. What else? Yoshimo is willing. Now, Yoshimo, I think I said it at the time, is a character in. Uh, in, in Ball's Gate 2. Unless I'm mistaken. But either way, in this alternate history sex adventure, the one and only Yoshimo does not betray. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Does not betray the ball spawn. In fact, it is almost anything the ball spawn asks for, for very readily. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yoshimo betrays you, basically. If you keep him in your party, he will, uh, he will betray you. And if you don't keep him in your party, he will also betray you. But he just shows up instead. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a decent character, but yeah. Uh, the hunter's piercing gaze here. What is this? This pamphlet is a transcript of an increasingly feral debate between two admirers on whether the color of Drizzt Doerden's eye color is aquamarine, the color of the eye color, yeah, is aquamarine, cerulean, vermilion, or amber. And uh, are, those are not quite close colors to each other. I would say aquamarine and cerulean are, are kind of the closest, but not really too close. Uh, that then, what do we have over here? The overlapping lines. This publication describes itself in the introduction, quote, a semi-annual magazine of drawings and tales telling stories of famed heroes of Baldur's Gate by their admirers, open to submissions from the public. So, it's, it's, uh, it's fan art. And it's all, it's all gonna be porn, that's the implication. The cover of this pulp erotica describes the contents, quote, after months of imprisonment in the Nashkel mines, Enchanter Shan, also a companion in Baldur's Gate 1, cannot bear his solitude any longer and decides to pleasure himself with the only companion he has, his sentient sword, the Moonblade. And that Moonblade is not a reference to the Moonblade of uh, Berserk, for example. I think, I don't know if it's called Moonblade in Berserk, but it is, it is a, it is a weapon in, it's actually, I think the think you get that weapon at the end of the, wait, is it, is Shan a, no, Shan is not a companion. Shan is the boss in the Nashkel mines, and you kill him, and you get a Moonblade. That's what that is, yes. And so he does the, the pleasuring with the, 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 uh, the, the aforementioned utensil sent to camp. And then Fion's journal over here. Possibly a little bit less erotic, although she was, either way. He's getting worse, she writes. It's about her son, probably. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. I know he's hiding something, and the others in the flop house know it too. I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him, and I can't blame them. Ellipses, however, have three dots, and she only put two. I am too, she says. Apparently not scared by her own uh, mistake on the ellipses side of things. Now, what are these? Strap choker leather and ensemble. So tight. Black flare leather outfit. A minimalist leather binding getup that clings to the skin and creaks just the slightest bit when you move. And green flare leather outfit over here. A minimalist leather binding outfit that's the same thing as before. Now, we don't have Lazel with us to uh, test, but uh, we have we have Astarion. Astarion, how are you doing, my friend? Hmm? How do you like the strap choker leather ensemble? Oh, well, let's, let's see. It suits him quite a lot. I It's tricky to see. I believe these bands are elsewhere as well. So it's just the choker that uh, that is kind of unique. It, it really does suit him, though. 
you know, in a, in a, in a sort of sexy kind of way, obviously. This is not a normal attire. But it does, it does. There you go. And, oh, actually, sorry. I will try this one as well. Just to make sure it's the same. And it is. What about me? The green flare. I... That, well, it is it is a very sort of a nightgown kind of top. Although, is that my... No, that's not my underwear. Wait, is that how it works? It comes with a top? Oh, wait. It does come with a top. Wow, this is this this one actually looks cool. I could go with this. Do I like it better than this? Oh, it's a trimmed down version. I don't like it better than this. It's a trimmed down version of this. Well, sort of. It's not quite. I look really cool on this though. It is it is a uh, it is very um uh yeah, I'll 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 keep it. It's good. It's good. I'll keep it. Send it to camp. And we're good to go. I'll see what Lazel looks like with this. Or one of these. Eventually, but not right now. Anyway. Uh, that's That was that. We don't... No, we do have maybe, potentially, more porn over here. Harping by Moonlight. An approach to life. What? What? Who opened? Who's... Why are you leaving? Why did you go upstairs, Jahira? Are you really that scared of me reading porn? Come on. You're a grown woman, you know what this is. Harping by Moonlight, an approach to life by Elminster Almar, the Sage of Shatterdale. The text is rife with observations and personal in introspection, such as this. I've never understood why people talk about evil as if it's a point of view. I find that... Oh, this is interesting. This is... Well, let's see where it goes. I find that tawdry and stupid. Evil and good are as pe present in the world as gravity, and though their interpretation is displaced across the garbled noise of culture, they actually remain reasonably constant. Just, oh, that is cool. I, I, I really like that. It, oh, man. It, it actually... It, it, he doesn't say that it's a point of view whether something is evil. He says that people... That the evil is the point of view of something rather than the something itself. And that, that is indeed the, the two sort of understandings of evil. Evil as a sort of fundamental reality as opposed to the point of view of fundamental reality. Anyway, just because you have cast fly doesn't mean you have broken gravity. Even the god who gives a cleric her power is just a flu. No? Yeah, just a flu down which, uh, w which the smoke of good flows. Sometimes I wish we lived somewhere in which these things weren't as omnipotent as they are. No matter how long you study, you can't grapple smoke. I've tried to understand good, to realize it in our world. More and more often, as I get older, I just feel it flowing through my fingers. Which isn't to say the things we do are meaningless. We may, that's a that, that's really good. Uh, because it is true as well. Like it, People would despair in a setting like this. Because this setting, evil and good are tangible things. In reality, they're not. But this is not reality. This is Dungeons & Dragons. And that, that's why this sort of books uh, matter so much. Because th there is a distinction here. But... It still mean it still it means that the things we do are not meaningless. We may be pup puppets toked and strobed around by good and evil, but we can jerk on the string a little. <laughs> we can. It's uh it's it's a it's a grim reality. The uh, the reality of Baldur's Gate. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the Mind Flayer corpse up here. Do we have access to all, all the roofs? Cause this is kind of worrying me. I don't think this particular roof means anything. Although they're... I don't know. It definitely allows us to travel between places. Either way, Cadillac. Attention. You're not going up? Heavily encumbered, cannot climb. Okay, drop the... Drop that. Alive. Perfect. So that's yeah, you are still alive, not the Mind Flayer. The Mind Flayer is very much dead. Step very, very much dead. Oh, there's more! We got more porn! Let's go. I hope. Or, I mean, the last one wasn't porn. But it was It was kind of porn, but just, you know, for me. This unlicensed 
And certainly Libelia's pamphlet describes its contents, quote, In this magical adventure, the one and only Elmistener explains the inaccuracies of Volo to his accounts of the mating rituals of the Feywild, with very graphic demonstrations, unquote. Mm-hmm. And I do believe we have had seen that before. I don't know, I don't remember where, but we did. Devil's Den, oh, we are here. Astarion. Devil's Den. You are, uh, well, the, this is the reason. This is the reason you're here. 